Hey guys, and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today, I will be teaching you how to create multiple choice message boxes in Game Maker. You can do this in Game Maker Lite or Pro, it doesn't matter. This works with Game Maker 7 also. Game Maker 6, I'm not so sure about. It should, but I'm not sure. So, what we're going to do first, I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like in Game what it look what the finished product will look like. So this is what the product will actually look like. Um, it'll say it'll have so a message here. In this case, it says game pause. Choose an option. You know, you can have up to three different options. Resume. These are just the options I use for this occasion. It says resume or start in main menu. Each of them actually work. If I press resume, it'll resume. Main menu, it'll go to the main menu. It also asks for a confirmation. So. Are you sure you wish to exit? If not, it'll do that. It'll go back to the menu, and it works really efficiently. I'll have to fix that later. This is a little preview of my game. I used it as an example. So, okay. So now we're back, and now I'm going to teach you how to make that menu or message bo multiple choice message box. So first, we'll go to our control object. I have one here already. I'm not going to make another one. I'll just edit it. So if you don't have a control object, then just make one. Mine sets to persistent, so it works in all my rooms. So what do you want to do? You want to add an event. Key press, letters, M. I'm choosing M for um, menu. Because I want to make it sort of like a menu for mine. So I'm going to go to control. Execute code. You can use whatever option you want. I just chose M for menu. And now we have to use the show underscore message underscore EXT function. And we have to store it in a variable. Store the ID of that function in a variable. So what we're going to do, we want to do menu equals show underscore message underscore EXT. So we store the value. So we stored the value of this function inside of the variable menu. Now I'm going to do open parentheses, quotation marks. This is the message that's going to appear. And so in my message, I want to say game menu. I'm going to open, do a colon, choose an option, quotation marks. So this is the message that I have. Now, I can have up to three different buttons. So I'm going to do, let's put a comma. Then this is going to be what it's going to say on your first button. So on my first button, I want it to say resume. Is it resume gameplay or resume game? Surrounded in double quotes. Then another comma. This is going to be your second button. So quotation marks. This one will say restart. Surrounded in double quotes again comma, and this is going to be your third button. Now let's say, for example, you don't want three buttons, you want two, or you want one. What you would do, you would just do this, leave it empty, so just put two double quotes, and then end it right there, with the closing parentheses. You just put two double quotes and leave it blank. That's what they said to do. I didn't never use this, but that's what they said to do, to leave it blank. It's the only way to leave it blank. So, um, what you would do now, I have to make my third button. So I'm going to make it say main menu. And surround that in double quotes too. Now this is my third option here. Now I have three different options. Now, option one will be resume. So this is choice number one. This is choice number two, and this is choice number three which I want it to do. Now, menu is our variable. So if we click on resume, which is option number one, menu will be equal to one. If we click on restart, which is option number two, menu will be equal to two. So basically, option one, if you click on it, menu will equal one. If you click on restart, menu will equal to two. And if you click on main menu, menu will equal to three. So what we're going to do, 
want to do if menu equals one. So if we click on option number one, and I'll space it out, which is resume. So to resume it, we don't need to add anything. So let's do an opening bracket, closing bracket. So that's pretty easy. Now this gets a little advanced and confusing, but I'll try my best to explain it. So I'll do else if menu equals two, opening bracket. We're going to ask for a confirmation before we restart. What I wanted to say is, I wanted to say, are you sure you wish to restart? And something like something on the lines of that. So are you sure you wish to restart? So I'm going to make it say, make a new variable. Just like I did menu, I'm going to make a new variable and call it restart. So restart equals, but this time I'm going to use the show question action, which helps make a yes or no question. So restart equals show underscore question. Wait, show underscore question. Opening parentheses, quotation marks. This is this is the message or text it's going to say. Are you sure you wish to restart? And just for the fun, I'll make it say all unsaved data will be lost. That sounds professional. The period and quotation marks. Wait, no. Quotation marks. Then closing print. So what you want to do now, now that we did that, we have to add something called the switch statement. The switch will just be the container for our yes or no question, basically. I don't know the exact specifics of what it does. I just know how to use it. So that's so. We're going to make switch, and then we want to put the variable inside of the switch statement. So switch restart, making yes or no questions in drag and drop is much easier than code. I'm going to admit that. So switch restart. And then I'll place the opening bracket. Now we're going to make it, now we're going to make it say, what do we do next? Oh yeah, I know. Case zero. Case zero just basically means option number zero. So since we're making a yes or no question, in this case, and case. In this case, option zero would be no, and option in case one would be yes. So case zero is basically equal to no, and case one will be equal to yes. So this time we want to add a colon, just a regular colon, with the two dots, not with the dot and the comma. Case zero, and then the colon, whatever it's called. So case zero is no. So if we press no, I want it to return to this menu. So we, we don't want to restart when we press no. I want it to return to this menu, just in case it was an accident. So I'm just going to copy this. So we have case zero. Just copy that. Uh, enter. And now I want it to break off. So break, and then a semicolon. Like having semicolons helps stay organized. Um, so next what we want to do, we added the break statement which breaks off from the current um, case. So it doesn't do anything else. It just leaves it back to the this and doesn't do anything else. It breaks off. Now, now we can add our two closing brackets. And now we have to make option number three, which is exiting the game, which is almost similar to restart, but it's not. But um, my clock restarted, so I don't know how much time there is left in this 10-minute video. So this will probably split into parts. But I don't know how much time is left. Um, so, well, I'll just end it right here. You know, watch part two for the continuation. It'll probably end in part two.
Um, so this has been an original if we try this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch part two for the continuation. So yeah.